Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you are new, so happy to have you here. Today we're gonna go Halloween hunting. By the way, hi, I'm Shannon. Uh, videos are a little weird this week. Uh, been a little, a little, my brain's just like, I haven't taken you guys to Michael's yet, and there's so much new stuff at Michael's, and there's this little shopping center. Um, my Target was out of Fancy Feast, so I had to come out here anyway. Yeah, so this, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I'm like now, my brain is just in 80 places at once, uh, but you guys get me. So I'm just gonna ramble a little bit. Mm, let's go over like, I don't know, let's, let's do a little life update per usual. Um, me, my, my hair, I don't know what, I don't know what's happening, but we're just going with it. Uh, I can't be bothered. I slept so late, and I know I slept so late because I went to a show the night before last um, at the Gorge. If you guys are in Washington or know anything about it, it's the most beautiful place. I went and saw Boy Genius. Uh, I love Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, I love Boy Genius, don't get me wrong, but I love Phoebe Bridgers. She's one of my absolute favorites. And so that's who my sister and I are actually going to see in Montana. I had originally just planned to go to the Montana show with my sister, um, but then I was like, why not? The tickets weren't that bad, um, and I knew I could drive to the Gorge and back, like, that night, so my boyfriend and I went, and we had a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot. It was a lot, and I know you guys have been... I'll put the timestamp. I probably will put the timestamp already before I even say this, but, um, of when the Halloween hunting starts, because I know some people are here for just that, that are, like, Halloweenies, um, but if you're not, I want to ramble for a moment. Uh, so, I don't know. My half-decaf coffee, because, oh, just that I slept too late. I literally... Even I couldn't sleep till like five or six in the morning. I don't know. My schedule is just all messed up from like going to that show the other night. And I just haven't been sleeping well. I think I'm just stressed. This month is busy. I'm so nervous to leave the queen. I hate leaving her, even though I know my mom will take so much care of her. It's not that. It's that the queen only likes me. <laughs> she only loves me. She'll be nice sometimes to my parents, depending on her mood. She'll be nice sometimes to my boyfriend, depending on her mood. But... She just, like, she doesn't rest well when I'm not home, and so much of me just wants to stay, but I know my sister really wants to go to the show, and I know that my staying won't change anything besides, you know, I'm just gonna, um, Queen has medication that will help her relax, and she'd be on it anyway, whether I was home or not, so we're just gonna give that to her while I'm gone for the night, and I'm gonna be thinking about her the whole time. <sighs> I'll be headed home probably by the time you see this, or you'll get this on Friday. I don't know. It's probably more likely, so I'll be home either way. And, uh, yeah, what's going on with the queen? I think I've talked to you guys about this, and it's just like, I think the vet just kind of wants to see, because now it's another vet who is newer to seeing her, has only seen her a couple times, and I think he just kind of wants to see if we just, like, keep up on her anal glands, if she'll be okay. Ah, uh, so much going on. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, so hopefully my sister and I will have a good time. <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad. I mean, the show was amazing the other night. It'll be great. We have seats, so it's not, like, too stressful of a thing. And, like, the other day when we went to the Gorge, I totally got off the topic, and now I remember what I was saying. Um, a lot of you guys know that I've been trying to, like, work on my physical health. Just, like, get out, go on walks more. It's been so hot. It's been difficult. But, oh, my gosh, coming back out of the Gorge was so hard on my body. Um, surprisingly, like, the next day, though, and even when I got home, I felt okay. It was just the actual act of it. Um... Because the gorge is like a gorge, you know? And you gotta like go all the way down to the pit. And I almost didn't go down to the pit because I knew I'd have to climb back up that hill. And with my bad knee, that's slowly healing, but it's still not 100%. And just knowing that like my health, and ever since I had COVID last time, my lungs are just not the same. They're just not the same. Um, and given, but I, I've been way more active in the last couple months than I have in the last few years uh, because you know you just when you don't feel good and you don't have to be you just sometimes aren't and then like there's just been so much illness and I've just had so many things going on that I just haven't made myself a priority so I'm trying to um so I'm really proud of myself for doing that even though I was terrified and I'm sad that my anxiety got so in the way uh it's like I couldn't even be excited because I was like so nervous about trying to get back out of that hill uh but I did enjoy the show it's always one side doing a good thing and one side doing a, a weird thing. This lately has been, ever since I made this side blonde again though, she's like, okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm back to like being a good swoopy bang. And then this one's just like fried. <laughs> That's okay. I already need to color my orange again because I want it brighter. But I'm just rambling like you're my friend because you are my friends, you know? So anyway, what else? 
in a couple weeks I have Post Malone. But thankfully, um, Queen will be, should be in her, like, good window of feeling good when I'm gone for two nights for that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to talk to the vet, obviously, and just try and figure out what makes the most sense. I just hate seeing her uncomfortable, and it's just so frustrating. It's like, I know she's, I don't know, just she deserves to not feel poopy, you know? And no matter what, it's going to be really expensive. And I'm very stressed. And I just, you know, when you, like, hit that level of stress where, like, you just can't do anything... <sighs> Like, every day I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to list on Poshmark. I have to list on Poshmark. By the way, it probably won't, I probably won't have listings by the time this video goes up. I mean, I will. I do. I currently have listings on Poshmark. But I think I'm going to sell some dresses and stuff that I was just keeping because I really like them. Uh, but I really don't need them. And I am going to have continually about $400 a month of added expenses of money I literally don't have. <laughs> for the queen um and she's worth every penny so uh, I'm just saying this in advance so if there's any like certain dresses that you know I loved that you've been eyeing that were kind of pricey or anything um most likely they will end up not all of them because there are some that like I just can't part with uh but I'm gonna try and like get rid of some stuff you know what I'm saying? Just, I just need, I just need to, I don't need it. There's always more clothing coming in for me. And I just, I need to make room for my boyfriend to move in. I need to be able to pay my vet bills. Um, cause she gets a shot for her arthritis every month. And then her food, um, a 24 pack is $64 and she needs two of those a month at least, uh, I think is what it ends up being. So it's just, and then obviously her, the actual vet bills, the actual like booty issues um and then obviously like now I'm spending so much more money on food for the other two beans too because I'm just putting them all on a wet food diet because it's good for them it's good for their kidneys it's you know it's just what we're doing because I don't want to give them dry food when she can't have it because she loves it so I just think it's the most fair across the board um I'm probably repeating things over and over, but that's okay. I got a half decaf latte. It looks really light, um, but I just wanted a little something, especially after that. I was going to try and push through without any coffee, but then, like, I was just so sad. <laughs> it's like I need a coffee, and I drove past the Starbucks on the way to Target. I do have to say, you guys, I am obsessed. Let's completely switch gears. Let's cheer up a little bit. I'm so sorry. Um, I am obsessed with these lipsticks from Urban Decay. I got a PR package. I don't remember like how long it's been since I submitted to like get it, but I feel like it's been a minute. Um, and I was so excited that it arrived because I've been wanting to try these lipsticks. Did I bring it with me? I think I did. I did. Um, so they sent a whole bunch of these guys and this one right here is toy with me. It's like a ready orangey. It like matches my shirt. Um, but I'm very much, I think with this hair, this is a vibe. Uh, there's also a really pretty nudie one, which is like OG back talk, which I've been wearing a lot lately. Uh, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this. Is it pricey? Yes. But now I'm, it's literally the vibe. <laughs> it is the vibe. Um, it keeps your lips looking hydrated. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't, you know, the only time I've had it transfer is when I, <laughs> I was really tired and stressed about Queen and I like kind of leaned and like fell asleep like this um and then sleeping with my lips on my hand I did get a little mark uh but it made me laugh uh I just really like these like they're kiss proof you know it's funny my boyfriend kissed me obviously because he's my boyfriend um I don't know why that feels weird to even say uh but what is when we were at we were at the gorge and we were at the show and I was like, oh no, my lipstick, because it just feels hydrating, and it feels a little tacky, so it is a little bit sticky, but not, like, my lips are sticking together anyway, it's just when I'm like, you know, but it gets better the longer you have it on, uh, but yeah, super duper impressed, if you want something that's, like, hydrating, I feel like this is probably my new favorite, uh, besides City Beauty, I love City Beauty Blush Rose, but this one is actually less than that one, that one's $35, uh, and obviously there's way, way, way more shades of this. So I am very excited for fall, <laughs> as you guys know. But now I'm really excited for fall lips because I feel like I'm going to have new choices. And there's so many I want to try from this line. They're like that. What are they called? What are they called? 
I don't even remember what they're called off the top of my head, but you guys know. They're like the new ones that are like long wearing. Uh, but yeah, so good. So anyway, life story. Um, I guess we could go Halloween hunting now. Uh, sorry for, yeah, the video's being weird, and sorry for two Halloween hunting videos. I still have a couple hauls to catch up on. Um, I'm trying to think what we have. We have a X Plus Wear haul, uh, another Bloom Chic haul, two different Shein hauls. Um, one is, like, randomness off the website, and then one is clothing. We'll probably do clothing first, and then the randomness, because that one's due. Uh, I'll probably film that first after I'm back from, like, but yeah things. I don't know what, how, how, words, girl, I'm hoping that I can like really get ahead and get stuff ready for when I'm out of town. I'm only going out of town, uh, so I'm going out of town for one night this week and then August 14th, 15th, I'll be back the 16th, the night of the 16th, um, but then I'm probably going to take the 17th off to hang out with my boyfriend and I have physical therapy that day too. So, We'll see. I don't know. But just bear with me. After that, like, oh my gosh. And it's like time to do this boogie lookbook. There's so many things. <laughs> There's so many things. Um, but yeah, I know you guys don't care. And you'll be happy with what you get. But you guys know me. I love keeping a schedule and getting you guys all the content. Um, but yeah. Okay. What are words? I feel like I might. Mm, okay. So now to talk about Halloween hunting. So I am in a parking lot where there is Ross, Michaels, and Burlington. I can't decide which one I want to go to first. I parked by Ross, but I'm feeling like maybe I should just go park on the other side. Um, I mean, I guess I could start Ross and then do Michaels and then Burlington. I was going to do it the opposite way. <sighs> Ross just is a lot. <laughs> this is, honestly, I have found the best Halloween stuff at this Ross in the past. So I always love to come to it, but it's also just a lot when you're alone. And now I have like the turkey vibes that are just still making me sad. <laughs> so I just need to go find some joy. Um, dang, I'm most excited about Michael's. So honestly, I kind of want to just go there first. Uh, I know that's kind of silly. I might just go there first and then see what I feel like doing. Because I feel like, I mean, I don't know what this Michael's has in stock, but from what I've seen, Michael's has a lot. So I feel like that's a good place to start. Maybe we'll do Ross last. I just feel like Ross is always so time consuming and you spend so long in line because there's always a giant line at this one that maybe I'll move my car to the other side. I guess I could walk. I should walk, but it's really hot. It's like 95 degrees. <sighs> Life choices. Why are you not here with me? All by myself all the time. I mean, I could ask people to go with me, but do I? No, I just assume no one wants to hang out with me. Um, God, I'm a mess today. That turkey thing just like shot me back into like doom brain. <laughs> um, but anyway, it is already 6.30, so I'm going to get my butt moving. I've got to film something really quick, and then I can go do that. Um, but anyway, I don't know which one we're going to start with. But we're probably going to go to all of them, and then I will haul if I find anything, which I probably will. I have to stop. But like this is the one time of year that I buy any sort of home decor, really. Like 90% of my home decor comes around this time of year. And it just brings me joy, okay? It just brings me joy. And I'm going to put my life on Poshmark very shortly. Um, so it's fine, right? Um, you only live once. Buy some Halloween decor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's go shopping. Let's go Let's go Halloween decor hunting. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey babes, I normally do a voiceover, but I'm super not feeling good today and my tonsils are really swollen. Um, not 100% sure what's going on, so I'm just going to play some music. I do haul at the end. I hope that's cool with you. I'm sure you guys will get an idea of what items I'm most excited about because I probably got better close-ups of those items. Um, but yeah, we'll go back to Michael soon for sure and all these places soon for sure but let's get into the music and you guys can just enjoy like we're shopping okay i love you guys thanks for always understanding so many clothing hauls and normal contact coming as soon as i feel better i think just the traveling and everything got to me so i'm just not feeling my best so i'm trying not to talk at all today but now i'm breaking that rule um and luna's looking at me like why are you talking um but again i love you guys okay Enjoy the shop.
Hey love, so I just got back to the car. I just rambled, but it's probably gonna be in the bloops. So I'm sorry if I look a little sad. I don't know, people are just poopy. It's just been a poopy day. Um, but I got some cute things. I did get this wreath. Sorry, it's gonna sound really crinkly because I have it half wrapped in a bag. Um, but I just thought he was cute and he was only $20. I might cut off these little stringy thingies because I don't know how I feel about those. Um, but you guys saw him in the video really well, so I'm sure you can see what he looks like. Um, just gotta hang him up. I think he's cute. And DJ thought he was cute too because I sent him a picture. I didn't get anything at Ross. There just wasn't that much and nothing that, nothing that I absolutely needed. And then so that wreath was from Burlington. And I just grabbed some socks because I need some because if you know me, you know that I'm newly wearing tennis shoes. <laughs> to help with my joints and to help heal my knee and like I just you know I have walking shoes now I've been going on walks like I said so I need socks <laughs> basically by the way I ordered this pair of what were they? new balances from DSW and I didn't really wear them for a month finally I was like okay I need to wear them I want to break them in these are probably the shoes I'm going to wear to the shows that I'm going to girl they sent me two left feet so I had to return those which is a bummer, so I'm just rocking my pink ones that I have. Um, but I needed some socks because I really, I don't own any socks because I don't, it's like a sensory thing for me. I just don't like things on my feet. Unless like the moment I get home, shoes, socks, gotta come off. Usually I gotta get in my PJs, which is like a tank top and shorts because I just can't wear, I just can't, I just can't. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for these guys to get in the car. <laughs> Hold on, BRB. I have boogies, so if I have boogies, I'm sorry. So, Michaels, oh my gosh, okay, nothing was on sale. They have a 20% off coupon, so I just grabbed a couple things that, like, I thought it would be sad if I didn't get. What's this guy doing? Oh, he forgot something at Ross. He running in. <laughs> something happened. Um, anyway, so, Michaels, I just grabbed a couple things. I could have bought so many things. I spent so long. I love the lover's line, like, Oh, I love it every year and I get so much of it. Um, but I decided to just wait a minute. I just can't spend the money at the moment. Um, I probably will end up having some of it be for Christmas for my mom, but I just, I usually there's a couple weeks where they put it out and it's not on sale and then they will put it on sale. So I'm trying to wait till it's 40% off to get more of it or even 30% off. Sometimes they do 30% off, then 40% off. But I did get this guy. I'm really bummed they didn't have the moon, uh, which of course I want the most. <laughs> uh, and these match the ones from last year, which I have up in my filming room. So I'm hoping I can find the moon one. I didn't go soon enough. Normally, this is like the latest in the season I've ever gotten to Michael's. It's just been kind of a couple weeks and I just, I don't know, just been going to Home Goods more. Uh, but yeah, so I got the, the sun little tarot card so I just gotta hunt down the moon hopefully it's, it's probably on the website I hope I mean it might be sold out now and then I got this one which is funny because it's not what I would have thought that I decided I absolutely needed but I just thought it looked like the highest quality and it had a cat on it and it's so cute that I decided I needed to put this in my kitchen um and it was only $22.99 and the other sign like the skeletons that I wanted the most was 30 so I was like mm, just get this one you have an idea of where you're going to put it, like stuff like that, even though I know where I'd put the other one too, because uh, it matches a lot of my other decor, because every year I get it, and I know it's weird that this is my decor, but you know what, it's it's okay, it is who I am as a person, I like spooky stuff, but that will go with like the stuff in my kitchen, I think, um, but yeah, that's all I got, so I didn't get too much, I'm glad I finally got some socks, I really want to head home to the kittens, um, but I love you guys so much. Sorry if I was in a bummer mood today. It's just, you know, I think you guys will understand. <sighs> but I just keep not vlogging. And, like, this stuff is, like, time sensitive. <laughs> you know, like, there's only going to be Halloween stuff in stores for so long. I know that it's, like, early in the season. But you guys know, if you're a Halloweeny, like me, you know that stuff goes. Like, if you don't get it, if you don't go in July, August, gone. By September, October, like, home goods is done everywhere's done um so i'm gonna i might hmm, no i'm trying to say if i want to grab something to eat because i'm just so tired and i have so much to do tonight before i go to bed um i don't know but i'm gonna head home i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching sorry for the videos being a little wonky today if you made it to the end leave a cat emoji for the sign or a little skeleton i don't know leave whatever you want tell me how you're doing tell me what's up tell me something good and positive in the comments if you can i know that i've been really bad at responding and i apologize i just have been trying to protect my mental health lately a little bit. So it just, you know, it just depends on the day. 
some days I'm like, yes, I can take it. Let me respond to comments. Um, but especially with like my Instagram going right now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, that'd be great if you did. It's Shannon underscore shortcake. Just the mean comments have skyrocketed. So it's just been a lot when I'm just dealing with some other personal stuff and just stressed about the queen all the time, you know, that's life. But I do want to say I have an appointment with a new doctor. I didn't tell you guys about how I had the worst doctor's appointment of my life. The absolute worst. I almost got up and left and like I fought for what I needed and guess what? I haven't even gotten what I needed. So, uh, I'm going to go to the doctor that Alina sees and she loves and it's a real doctor. And I just think I need a higher quality doctor for the person that I am. <laughs> I have so many problems and so many issues that are always a mystery. Um, so I'm hoping he's nice. I normally go for women doctors. Um, but Alina and I are so similar that I know if she thinks he's a good doctor that I will probably think he's a good doctor as well. Um, we're just both such emotional beings and I think we just need people who will not write us off and listen to us and maybe I'll go into depth about like the worst doctor's appointment of my life but basically she just didn't know what she was doing she was googling things she hadn't read my chart she had no idea why I was there when I was there for like a follow-up because my my doctor is out on maternity leave it was just the worst thing I felt judged I was sobbing the whole time because I was so upset and I it took every piece of me to stay in that seat and not get up and walk out the door because I was so frustrated so done and I was just following up on my stomach issue and all I wanted was a test and like test for my stomach and also like to get a referral for uh, oh my gosh what is it called the doctors that look at your belly I'm too tired to even think you guys get me Anyway, just the worst. Anyway, 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 I'm going to stop rambling. I love you guys so much. Sorry to be such a turd. You guys always make me feel better, though. I always feel, I get in my head about coming on here and talking to you guys about my emotions and life. And the thing is, is, like, we all have struggles and we all go through these things. And especially as um, plus-size women, it's so hard. There's so, I, I never feel like any doctor ever takes me seriously. I feel like so many people just don't take me seriously. And it's so heartbreaking sometimes. It's just really hard. Um, and I know you guys understand that and you've dealt with that too. Of course, there's some of you that'll be like, that's not me. Um, and that's okay. And I'm glad that's not you. I'm glad you haven't had to deal with that if you haven't, you know. Um, but it's really hard when like it's a someone that you're supposed to like, you know, in a position of power and they're treating you like you're nothing, like you're overreacting, um, but you're living in pain every single day. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, just, I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. I'm going to scoot myself back a little bit. <sighs> Good. Hey babes. So what am I trying to say? Words. <laughs> All right, babe. So we are going to do a little bit of a haul. And of course there's some guy like staring at me while he's Why is he staring at me? I know that I'm colorful, but I wish people would not look at me. I just don't want to be looked at. I don't want to be perceived. I don't want anything. I about got in a stare down fight with a woman at Ross. I walked in and she's just like giving, she's probably just grumpy, but like people need to be aware of their faces and where their eyes go. And so by the time she looked at my feet, I was staring back at her like, she just looked away. It's like, why are you so grumpy? Why are people like, just, I don't know, this world is hard. Really struggling today. Hopefully this goes in the bloops. <laughs> so that way, like, I, I feel like only like, I don't know, my closest beans of you guys make it to the bloops. It's just struggling <sighs> with earth, <laughs> with being a human and I don't know just too many poopy people today it's just hard and I know it's just a bad day and I know tomorrow I'll be in a better mood I hope but it's just hard I don't know I just don't understand the cruelty of the world and I just I just don't get it I just I struggle to comprehend it like I do and even though like I see that it's like a cycle and people are rude and then other people are rude and it's always just like that's how it is like everyone people aren't born terrible <laughs> but they can be raised to be turds you know what I'm saying okay anyway just you know I just that's most of my depression I think comes from just like the world not even like who I am as a person. Like, I mean, that used to be what it was like being upset about the way I looked or like 
wanting to live a life and like people not liking me because of the way I looked. And now it's just like, I'm just sad that the world is like this and that people are like this and people, I know it's not everyone. And like you guys help prove to me that there are beautiful, kind souls out there. Thank you for that. Um, and I'm so glad I have you guys. Cause honestly, if I didn't have the connection that I have with all of you, I don't know if I'd be here. And that's really terrible to say because people are terrible. They can be so, I know it's not all of them. I know it's not all of them, but I'm just struggling a little bit lately. I'm just tired and it's been a day. So anyway, I love you for the second time. <laughs>